Welcome back to IGN Live at San Diego Comic Con 2019. Previously, historically, anime was more of a thing for places like Anime Expo or Otacon, but it's having clearly an increasingly huge presence here at Comic Con. Yeah. Uh, Akeem, yeah. you just got to see the world's largest Kamehameha. What the what the hell was that? It, <laughs> it was quite it was quite a blast. Uh, li oh, literally, oh, I literally get it. quite I get a blast. It. Over 700 people in attendance, but it was well more than that. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was people waited for six hours just to take part in this. What was the best cosplay you saw? Uh, the best cosplay I saw was, I saw a couple of Android 18s. Okay. Um, but I did see like a, a, a woman who's probably old enough to be my grandmother dressed as Bulma. Oh, which, which was adorable. Like that. That's some mixed feelings there. <laughs> I, I, Android yeah. 18 cosplay is that's like jeans and like a sweater though, you know. But she also yeah, had she fair. also had the blue okay. the blue eyes. Fair so enough. She had some good yeah. I was yeah. hoping maybe you saw someone like in full blown like cell outfit. Uh, or some I wish. Oh, Ginyu there, fours, nothing I like that. I wish. No, no. Zarbon. No, no. Oh my God, I am a sh no. There was well, a brawly okay. though. Oh, okay, well, I mean, it's okay. uh, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, so it is it is 30th anniversary of Dragon Ball, mm -hmm. uh, Dragon Ball Z specifically. I like that they're kind of moving the goalposts here, yeah. you know, because yeah. it's like it's actually been around since '84 if you do the math, and you know, it, you know, it, it premiered yeah, stateside right. in like '96 right. or yeah. something. Yeah. So they're kind of shuffling things around, but clearly there are plenty of people who who really love it here, and like Comic Con in the same way that it used to be just about comics. Now it's just kind of all sorts of pop culture, and there's whole generations of yeah. people who've grown up with uh, with Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Uh, My Hero Academia, which is kind of a successor to that. Uh, you know, dudes shouting and punching each other <laughs> sort of title. Uh, Jackie, you got to talk to those guys, right? Yeah, actually, I got to speak with Justin Briner and Clifford Chapin, and they are the voices of Deku and Bakugo, and they have this epic rivalry. I, I don't think, you don't know My Hero Academia, really, I, I right? I know, you know it, a not bit. well enough, though. Okay, so yeah. they have a rivalry, rivalry that's very similar to Goku and Vegeta, mm -hmm. and, like, they both want to be the best, but uh, Deku's kind of, like, funny and goofy, and um, and then Bakugo is very Vegeta-like, like, you yeah. know, angsty and, like, ah! Oh, Ah, you know, so it was really cool to talk to them, and I obviously asked them so many questions about their rivalry. We actually got them to read Goku and Vegeta lines. Oh wow, so that was super fun. What I think is so cool about that is yeah. those guys are dubbing that new series as it's coming out in Japan. Yeah, like that shows sort of how much like global anime has become a thing. Yeah. Whereas like we're looking at DBZ, and it's like that would you know that would come out. You know, that would, that would come out in, like, 1989, and then it would show up in, in America, like, a decade later. Yeah, you know? yeah so exactly, it's, yeah, yeah. It's cool to see it kind of catch up and go full circle there. So yeah. those guys actually know spoilers, basically. Well, it's it's kind of interesting, because I asked them, like, can you guys tell me anything about Heroes Rising? That's the movie that's supposed to be coming out. Um, it's releasing in Japan in 2019, I believe, December. And there's a lot of hype about it, because the creator was saying, like, this could be the last movie. You know what I mean? So yes. I was like, can you guys tell me anything? And they're like, man, like, we're pretty much just as much in the dark as you but they did say that they do think it's going to be playing up that rivalry between them so you know i think that they're just conjecturing but i mean like that that would be awesome to see more of that um and then also uh, season four is coming out in october and people are just going nuts about that i was at anime expo and i got to see the first episode and it was so awesome so Typically, this anime, I, I wouldn't say it's kitty. It's definitely got darker elements, but I wouldn't say it's, like, gory or violent. And I don't want to give any spoilers out, but it is dark. Like, this first episode, Miranda Sanchez and I were both like, oh, did they? Are they? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my goodness. So, it was it was pretty dark, um, at least one of the darker episodes that I've seen from the anime. And they introduced some new characters that are just really cool, and I just want to see more of them. So this is all in the first episode? This is all in the first episode, wow. yeah. So, I'm, I'm just so amped and I just want to see more. And they had their panel this morning, actually, mm -hmm. so I would have died to be in that panel, but we were here working, so, yeah. you know, so doing our jobs. So I, have a, I have a theory that we're going to see a lot more anime presence at Comic-Con, especially mm -hmm. with the kind of rise of live-action live action Western adaptations of things. Like, we've mm -hmm. got the Cowboy Bebop show coming to Netflix. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got the much-rumored Taika Waititi Akira movie. Mm -hmm. There is also the Gundam movie that's uh, in the works. Uh, these yep. are all sort of happening. Gundam's having a 40th anniversary thing. they got all sorts yeah. of people building model kits and stuff. It's, it's happening right now. It's, it's, 40th over, yeah, it's over in Petco Everyone's Park. Everyone's just selling Celebrating anniversary, yeah. SpongeBob 20th yeah, anniversary. Right? It's not an anime, but it's an animation. The so. idea of SpongeBob being 20 years old weirds me out. Isn't it? I know. Crazy? All yeah. of these anniversaries <laughs> are making me. I'm like, yeah. oh man. But it's cool. 30th, clearly, 40th, 30th, like 20th, 40th, yeah, like, 20th. Oh yeah. Goodness, yeah. Well, but, yeah. clearly Comic Con is a place for fans of all sorts of things, and if anime isn't your thing, don't worry because we have all sorts of coverage of all sorts of things right here on IGN Live. So stick around. <laughs> <laughs>